So let's triple one fourth of a cup here. So three times one fourth of a cup. So imagine you have three cups here and one, two, three, four. So we've divided them into four pieces and each piece that's one fourth of a cup. So when you triple it, what we could do, we could just take this and move it over here and this over here. And pretty quickly you can see that three one fourth cups, that equals three fourths of a cup. So when we triple one fourth of a cup, we get this three fourths of a cup. Let me show you the math way to do it too. So we could multiply one fourth times three, and I like to call it three over one. Three divided by one, it's still three, but now everything lines up real nice. One times three, that equals three, and four times one, that equals four. So when we have fractions and we're multiplying them, we just multiply the numerators, then the denominators, and three times one fourth of a cup, we get three fourths of a cup, and that's what we got before. Kind of makes sense. This is Dr. Vig tripling one fourth of a cup. We get three fourths of a cup. Thanks for watching.